In this video, I will show you how to reduce several impedances when they are connected in series to a single impedance which is called equivalent impedance or total impedance of that circuit. What is impedance? Impedance is the opposition to current flow due to resistor, inductor or capacitor or the combination of them. Let's say in a branch we have resistor R, inductor L and capacitor C. Therefore, between this point to this point our impedance will be z equal to j xl minus xc where the xl will indicate the total opposition to current flow due to the inductance and xc is the capacitive reactance which indicates the opposition to current flow due to this capacitance c xl equal to twice phi fl and xc equal to 1 by twice phi fc if in a circuit or if in a branch we have only resistor therefore xl and xc will be equal to zero if we have only inductor r and xc will be zero or if we have only capacitor xl and r will be zero or if we have r and l xc will be equal to zero or if i have r and c xl will be equal to zero that means i can say that if between two points we have resistance inductance and capacitance or any of them we can use this general formula z equal to r plus j xl minus xc the the element that will be absent that component will be equal to zero okay that's it now see let's say i have several impedances total n impedances z1 z2 up to zn they are connected in series because you will see one end of this z1 will be connected at this terminal another end of this impedance will be connected another impedance this is how we will get n number of impedances connected in series the impedances that means they may contain resistor inductor or capacitor or combination of them okay so in this circuit we are applying an alternating voltage V here see this V will try to conduct the current in this direction during its positive half cycle this is indicated by this arrow sign or this positive and this negative sign that means during first half cycle this terminal will be at higher potential and this terminal will be at lower potential see if I apply RMS value of voltage V here you will see this will be a total series circuit let's say the RMS value of current is capital I as this is a series circuit current I will be same all over the circuit therefore I can write down I is flowing through this circuit as this is a series circuit this applied voltage V will be divided among the impedances Z1 let's say the voltage across the Z1 is V1 the voltage across the Z2 is V2 up to the voltage across this Zn is Vn now say this source will try to conduct the current in this direction during first half cycle therefore you will see I will assume current is flowing in this direction so you will see in this impedance current will be entering from this direction so this side of the impedance will be positive and this side will be negative because current will be leaving in this direction and in this impedance current will be entering from this direction so this side will be positive and current will be leaving in this direction so this side will be negative similar case is applicable in this zn this is side is positive and this side is negative that means current will be entering from this direction and say current will be leaving in this direction so the direction from which current is entering will be positive and the direction from which the current is leaving will be negative see in this circuit we are applying the voltage v it is divided into v1 v2 up to v n due to its series combination let's say the now say what will be the value of this v1 we calculate the voltage across this impedance by multiplying the value of impedance z1 with the current flowing through it simple application of ohm's law but in case of ac circuit v1 equal to i z1 how do we calculate v2 v2 equal to i z2 current into impedance up to v n equal to i z n impedance of this resistor impedance of this element into current flowing through this element will give us our corresponding voltage so this is how we can calculate v1 equal to i1 v1 equal to i z1 v2 equal to i z2 up to v n equal to i z n now see this is a total series circuit and this is a closed circuit in this circuit i can easily apply k 
KVL but in phasor form. KVL states that in terms of voltage drop and rise, summation of voltage rise equal to summation of voltage drops. Here the in this circuit the voltage rises by the source only. So here in the left side I will take V and the voltage this voltage gets absorbed by the V Z1 Z2 up to Zn. So V1 plus V2 up to V n. Okay. Now see this V is the applied voltage between this terminal to this terminal. The total current I is flowing in this circuit. Let's say with respect to this terminal and this terminal the total impedance of the circuit is Z T. Therefore I can easily calculate total voltage V. Total voltage V equal to total current I into total impedance of this circuit. This total impedance is also known as equivalent impedance. That means we can reduce all these impedances to a single impedance and that reduction will not change the total current and total voltage in the circuit. So here V equal to V1 plus V2 up to Vn. V1 equal to I IZ1, V2 equal to IZ2 and V n equal to i z n and here v equal to i z t therefore you will see i will be common here here and here so i can take out i outside of impedance parameters so here i will get i z t equal to i into z1 plus z2 up to z n see our total impedance of the circuit will be the will be the sum of individual impedances z2 equal to z1 plus z2 plus zn this is how when, whenever we will have several impedances connected in series z1 let's say z2 we can replace that impedance with a single impedance let's say with respect to this terminal and this terminal see here with respect to these two terminals i can calculate zt and it is evident that zt will be equal to the zt will be the sum of the individual impedances z1 plus z2 this reduction z equal to z1 plus z2 up to zn or several impedances to a single impedance or we will replace several impedance with their equivalent impedance this will come in handy when we will do the network analysis of ac circuit okay that's it thank you